guys have a little bit of a rivalry. It's gonna be a sick match to watch. First to call up the best fox in the world. An absolute monster with this character and one of the best players in the entire world. Rogue Light! <laughs> and his opponent, one of the last defenders of New York. Let's see if he can repeat what DeBuzz just did. His Palutena, ridiculous. His Fox, arguably better than Lights. It's like, Let's go, Jay! He just threw the hat at him. Bo was so desperate to get that hat on Jen, but it's not All coming right, out. Folks, Jen did not want it. That's it for me up here on the stage. I'll catch you guys on top four commentary, but one more time before I go. Talk to him! Welcome to New York. So we had one defense already for the buzz coming in over Mars just a second ago. And obviously Leon holding it down, taking them both down. This one, even though Light has the winning record, it's always close. It's always a nail biter, man. Like I said, Jen's one of those players that I think um, people sleep on, in, in my opinion. Like in the beginning, he started off extremely strong in Ultimate, but then he kind of like floss his way. Every time he travels, he didn't do so hot. So this is an opportunity for him to try to like continue his uh, relevance and try to put a name yep. for himself. Like, all right, he's fighting off against Light. Like you said, Light has the advantage. But Jen has taken a win off of him in the past. Yeah, exactly. You know, And also being Palatina, it is a very stressful thing for Fox to have to recover against that character. That Nair being online or being able to force Fox to go low with the explosive flame, just putting it out there. Mm. It's so it's so easy for him to just force Light to go where he wants him to. Thing is, though, Light normally holds center stage very well in this matchup when these two play, and he usually comes out on top with a lot of the neutral exchanges with much greater damage. Just depends on how Jen happens to be playing today, which happens to be pretty spectacular. Yeah, like I said, he's made it all the way here. He's just knocked down all of his New York friends from Zeno constantly. He defeated Mr. E, he defeated Sinji, and now he's gonna have to face off against Light. And actually, uh, a little bit off topic, but I was talking to Light earlier. He's talking about coming down to Zeno more often because he felt yeah. like Light felt that he was playing in his prime when he was training at Zeno in New York yeah. City. You know, so. It was a lot easier at one point for us to travel down here because I would regularly drive down when I could or some of the other players in the area would drive down to Zeno's, uh, if yeah. not Saga's, during the weeklies. So It's uh, a Wednesday night. Like, again, yeah. people got work Thursday morning. We should be, you should be checking out. Go ahead yeah. and follow button. But so here we go. We're going getting, down to PS2. The crowd is on Jen's side. The years are coming out, another New Yorker. Now much different from the last thing we saw. Not a big body and definitely gonna be a lot easier to get kills on. But the way that these two play, again, both very explosive, very intelligent, and you see Light already starting things off, trying to frame chap and keep Jen at the ledge. And this is really strange to see uh, in Light's favor because we have not seen Light at a top eight since uh, April, the same, yep. same tournament as Mars, uh, 2GG Prime Saga. Like, he just has been lackluster in trying to get those top eight positions, so he's finally here, and now he doesn't want to, like, show up with a double loss, right? Because he lost his first set in top eight. Yep. Here's the second one. So he's got a lot to prove as well. And we were talking about the consistent people at the beginning, you know, pretty much from Genesis on through. He was one of the people who was just not missing top mm. eights. Now, sitting here at this point, but Jen also not being here at a top eight at one of these events, he definitely wants to walk away with this W right now, too. There we go, just starts off right out the gate. Nair up smash, like taking away that first blood from Jen. Can Jen respond in kind? Force baits out the air dodge. Yeah, just a little bit far away to get that down throw back here that he was looking for there. Forces the jump, but Light landing aggressively, just continuously establishing pressure always, even in disadvantage. And Paolo's Nair is so strong, like, like, cause it catches rolls. You saw Light roll through. Oh wait, hold on a sec. Gives up stage positioning, but not gonna take a punish. Instead gets a cross up on the grab attempt. Trying to catch Jen off guard, but Jen's gonna get him with the back throw. I feel like if Jen has his opponent at high percent, he is looking for that back throw. That's like the number one option he's on the lookout for. Always look for Jen to do a couple of nares or short hop fares at the ledge, and then maybe the third or fourth interaction, he's gonna run up and turn around and wait at that ledge for that back throw. Condition you to shield. There we go, 112% on Jen. Light doing a fantastic job keeping him airborne. Okay. Big damage. Ooh, Ooh calls it. out the spot dodge. Yeah, getting a little bit extra damage there. Couldn't follow up afterwards, but that's a nice confidence move right there. It's like, you know what? I, I'm calling out your oh where you God. are going. Whoa, whoa, whoa like hold so, on. Jen is turning the up. down air on that Fox Illusion. That double dash attack just stuffing out the aggressive options. Fire Fox into the stage. 
Nice call out with the up air. Going to Fox Illusion right out of that situation to reset back to neutral. And I like what he's doing there. For anybody who's not, he's a little confused. He's putting the Firefox out there to put the multiple hitboxes of the Firefox to catch the teleport as it comes in. So he can force Jen either to die off a stage spike or force him to have to go high. It's an easy two frame, but now he's back on stage. Oh, he went for the grab. That's the second time he's done it this game. You can, I mean, if it works the first time, you know, shame on you. But it works the first time, shame on me. And Light's definitely uh, not going to fall Speaking for Speaking of good T-frame options. Oh my too. gosh. Smash, but going for the jab block, just trying to cash out with a forward smash. Going for the Firefox again. There it Get is that, right there. That's exactly what we were talking about earlier. And it actually killed him at that low of percent. What was he at? 30? 47% after the death. Like, that's exactly what I was just pointing out. 31% is when he died. And he had to expend his jump there. 44. Wow, so low. And Light is going to take that every time. So Jen could have survived that. What happened was Jen thought he was going to have to go for an insanely quick recovery mm -hmm. to get back to stage so Light didn't have any time to, like, set up shop and just continuously do Firefoxes. But because he did it a little bit too early, he wasn't able to even reach the ledge. So it just didn't work out for him. Light taking away game one from Jen. Definitely what Light needs right now. Light and losers with momentum is so rough. But again, the crowd getting behind Jen. They want to see their boy continue to move forward. He avoids the Nair. More setups. I like it. Now you notice that light, you know, kind of on the on the on the lookout, on the scouting out this dash tax, because mm -hmm. you know Fox will get a lot off of that. You can combo dash tax and dash tax sometimes a back air, sometimes an up air. Yeah. So dash tax definitely the meta. Oh, oh my! He got it! He got it! Off of explosive flame point blank after the air dodge too, and he was in prime position on that platform to close that out. That was a very good early Yo. stock that he needed there. Trying to go for the down air as well. He Jen, wanted to get that Fox to turn it up. Wait, hold on a sec. What is Jen doing? What happened after game one? Jen is so famous for losing game one and then just turning up the heat. This is what I was talking about at the beginning of all this. Because when these two play, the angle. it is a great angle from like coming in there. When these two play, it's always so close. You don't normally see a lot of just butchering games coming in from them throughout the entire set. I love the patience from Jen there. He had just held shield because Light was looking for that up smash. Grabs. Just back those for stage control. Exactly. You want to go for those edge guards when you can. He was just waiting for Light to maybe jump. Getting he, the spot dodge though with that down smash. They both spot dodge at the same time, and then you know Light had advantage there. Okay, backers. He charged, started to charge up that up smash. Yeah, and Light decided to back off too because he, he, he knows that Jen is looking for something in that corner there. I like the fact he decided illusion there. Just get out of dodge, not trying to take one of those up airs. And that's not the first time he's done that either. He likes going for the Fox illusion whenever he's just trying to reset mm -hmm. back to neutral that high in the air. And something you won't see, to, that right there, you won't see too many of those. And you won't, excuse me, the back throw is Slick. definitely something you'll see more. The range. How did she do that? She has telekinesis powers. I don't know how she grabbed from that far away. Yeah. Something I was going to point out before, Light wants to short hop Nair a lot, but you have the answer of Palatine to short hop Nair as well. So he's conditioning to try and make it seem like he won't do it. Now he's starting to pull him out a little bit more. A double up air. You saw him go for the explosive flame because he was baiting out that air dodge to the right. Mm. But Light opted they, to go trying aggressive. to read a roll there instead of yeah. a grab. But Jen just holding his position, staying still. Oh, gets him Another on the one? What a oh, call out with that. He wanted a second explosive flame. Jen, you nut. And no reaction from Light right there. Could Decided not to commit, not wanting to get back thrown. Delayed grab from Jen. We're chilling. Was that, did he just teabag him? Is that what he just did? So, so Jen said recently at this last weekly that a lot of the people in D New York play too defensive. So he is intentionally just putting the mental game out because he has the lead. He's like, look, eventually you got to approach me anyways. So I'm yep. just going to keep doing this to you. If you don't want to move at me, I'm going to get in your head. Nair catches the double jump. Fox without his resource gets caught by the explosive flame and Jen putting a point on the board. That's that. what I was talking about earlier. The fact that Palatina controls the routes that Light has to take so well when you only have Fox Illusion or one of the angles he has to take with the Firefox. If you go low, you're setting yourself up for defeat because Palatina's gonna go out there and get it. Jen, he's here. I mean, again, this is 1-1 one, one in this set. And we got advantage and Light in terms of counter pick. And we're going to town and city for our next stage. Big, big open stage yep. for a light to run around. I mean, it's very similar to what? Ken? Ken Masters? Oh my god, he picked, he's picked Ken. OK, so for those that don't know, Jen played Ryu in Smash 4. And when this game came out, he really wanted to play Ken, but did not like him. 
in patch 1.0. I hope this doesn't come back to bite Jen after that great match he just had. I think a majority of it is because he knows Light loves his stage and love. he's going to hug the wall a lot. So if he can just keep him from doing so and get great traps, he might be able to spike him pretty early. There we go. Good stuff. Sets off nicely with those down tilts. This is something that Jen has been saying he, he pretty much refused to want to play, but pulling it out here against the Fox, this is something in Smash 4 with the Ryu. He should get some victories on Lightwind. Oh, God, because oh, he landed down with the Nair. Oh. He flopped the input. That was a Shoryu. It's but, okay. He got it. Off of the light up tilt, he got the Shoryu. That's all he was looking for. I mean, he had to warm up with the character. He has not played Ken for a while. And you know what? This is yet another top eight. As Big PGR's damage. Bay, it continues. With Ken on it. You gotta, fi you gotta figure something's coming in. Oh, he's, Shine he, Spike. He, oh, he rips the jump. What? Did he just give him? Oh, no, he's gonna get back. Could you imagine if Light did not make that back? Good that stuff from Light, barely surviving after getting that edge guard. And now we're back, 57%. Nice footsies. Pushes him back. Trying to catch him up the ledge with that down smash, too. You see that Light's respecting this entire recovery. Also, not trying to land on him with one of these up tilts. And Light loves the jump. And that's exactly what Jen's looking for with that Light up tilt. That comes out frame two. It's so quick. That's 1 30th of a second. You gotta be respecting it. Yeah, you know that also, combos. You always, always have to respect the follow ups on Ken, too. A shield breaker or a very early kill from one of these shows can definitely snipe a stock. Here we go. Oh, good stuff. Light trying to play aggressive here. And I feel like the end of all. Oh, Sets him up. Good defense from Jen there, not pulling the trigger a little bit too early. Meanwhile, Mike gonna make double it jump. Oh, he goes for the near side of the back here, gets a trade, gets a tech, and gets back on. He's very hungry. Those are the Shore Yukin, or the Hot Ogan, sorry, to get back onto the stage. Good. Ooh, cross yeah. up back here. I like to walk in, like, and back. Mike goes oh. so deep for that. Oh and my he God. managed to get back to the stage and with the Shore Yukin. Another one. Another their DP. And Throw it out. On shield as soon as he touched it. That's something Light has to respect. It's what happened with Leon too. Every time he just got even close to his shield, the LPs would come out. Now he has to worry about it with Ken. But finally, even in his backup. I like that spacing from Light. He knew that Jen wanted to play a little bit aggressive with that up tilt. That's okay. Big damage coming off of that down throw. Managed to escape. There you go. Establishing some pressure with that rabbit jab. He might go for a grab. Maybe the does next it time. again. And this is what Light's bread and butter used to be. He loves spamming this jab because it's just so safe and tacks on so much damage. He even sets up for a tech situation. I see Light forcing oh, Light to roll gosh. away. Now he might be able to dig deep and go for his recovery. Oh god, he's thinking about it. Yeah, what pretty much at this percent, you know, Light being relatively light as Fox. Another, I'm sure you at this point will definitely take the stock out. That was an up tilt. Okay, there we go. Light stuffing it out with the grab. Very uh, okay. I think Jen might be a little bit too hungry for this up tilt action. There oh, we go. Back here. Reverse the back rush. He has no jump. He has to recover with spike. Uh, no, not gonna happen. There we go. Sure you can. And the crowd popping off. Jen currently going up two to one. We we're sitting there a little confused by the counter pick originally, but the Ken coming in clutch for Jen throwing off light on the matchup with Palu. Going to Kalos, I mean, I'm sure he's probably gonna run it back to Kalos at that too, so we're probably gonna see a run back in his character. Oh, never mind, he's gonna go to PS2 instead. The one time he went for focus attack too, you know? There it is. Look at that. The one time he went for that focus attack right, right at the beginning spelled disastrous for Light. Because he, he died because he tried to land down with a Nair, which is normally safe for Fox. And we're going back to Palutena because of the stage pick. We're going back to PS2, and this is the I, that was and that's a great thing to have in your back pocket when you have a counter pick like that. That available thrives to you. on a stage that you they don't know that and you're it's, counter picking. It's one of Light's best stages when he whenever he's in a bind, he tends to go to Kalos. Now he's taking it away from him. All right, here we go. Going back to PS2 again, a fantastic stage for both characters. Good light trying to pop him up. And again, if, and if Jen loses this game, he has counter pick advantage. What? That killed. Yeah, you know, off, See to, <laughs> off to a hot start here is light much better compared to that last game. But getting the dare into bear conversion and gets the two frame as well. Oh. Is Jen setting himself there? up for success. Misses the down air. Right. The point blank explosive flame. I feel it. Yeah, at some point it's coming. Jen loves rising up in recovery with explosive flame, catching people sleeping at the ledge. It's really good tactic. Misses the teleport cancel. Got a big punish coming out from Light. All off of one dash attack, he took all the way up to 77 damage. Firefox is trying to catch the two frame against the ledge, but we're still 
thriving out here. Yeah, good defense from Light there too. His jump was gone. You saw Jen trying to react by giving him a fake out. Maybe go for the grab at the ledge, instead trying to go for grab for roll, but didn't get it. A lot of empty hops coming out. Nice spacing. You saw him barely tap him with that there on his shield. And also not backdooring as well. Not trying to stale out that backdoor right now. Gonna get hit with the forward smash though. This is changing up quite a bit, but we've already seen how explosive Jen can play. That's gonna be the first point on the board. There we go. Two stocks to one, though. This is gonna be quite the hill for Jen to try to climb. There we go. Lands down with the neutral air, but wasn't able to get any combos off of it. Just a mere 7.7 .7 damage. Fading away with that fair two to break up that pressure that Light was putting on. Light opting to go for some zoning instead. He's gonna find his dash attack and he's gonna keep resetting it. Very, very similar shades of the previous game. You know, the vortex is from Fox. Super stressful to have to get back down to the ground. Drags him down with the forward air. Back air is calling out that landing. Firefox again. A little bit too soon. Jen holding on for as long as he can before committing to the warp. Trying to read a jump out of Jen to go in recovery high. No B reverse on that laser there, but both of them just resetting to neutral. I wonder what Jen's going to be looking for to try and close out the stock. It's going to be tough. Neutral air. Sends him off flying. Go for the re-grab. Oh, he tried to space out a back air, but Light just does the immediate get up, up smash. And that was an answer Light needed bad. After that game number three, with the fact that the Ken works so well, I wonder if, even if we don't get a stage beneficial to Ken, if he just decides to go Ken outright. I could definitely see Jen sticking with Palu, only because I feel like he busted out Ken to be that one hit wonder in mm -hmm. the set. I think he felt that maybe like Light would just be able to beat him in a game five situation with Fox or with uh, Ken, but we'll just have to wait and see. That's a fair point too. That's actually kind of a Jen mentality right mm -hmm. there. He'll get the one win with the trick up his sleeve and then reserve it and play the character he's most comfortable with. And I do want to point out that Light just banned Kalos, a stage that he counterpicked earlier because he knew that like if you could go there with uh, Ken, that could work out wonders for him. Yeah. Sticking with him, because he's going to Smashville, sticking with the Palutena. Yeah, forcing him out of that counter pick, like you just pointed out. It seems like it's just a Kalos specific thing, or maybe even a Unova thing, because he did ban a Unova A best three to five set thing. You know, you never know. Just like a throw it out there, so it mix up your opponent. But here we go, the final game of this set. Loser going down with a fifth place finish. Winner's going to move on to face off against the Buzz and Loser Semis. The years are coming out. They're cheering for the New York's born and raised Jen. Fighting off against Connecticut's Rogue Light. Light definitely wants to move on with this. We were talking earlier about Mars. Wanting to consistently get high up after being so far out of top eight for so long. Light wants to reestablish that dominance that he had early on. Jen, new kid on the block in terms of a lot of public like view, and he's just consistently performing so well, but taking so much damage right now. Hey, trying to poke through below these platforms, sharking with those up airs. Trying to catch those landings against Jen. And this, this center platform is gonna just do so much wonders for Jen. It's able good. to teleport cancel for pretty much anywhere on the stage. It's pretty great combo. He had to both of them at that back. too. He kind of held down on up B there as well, so he could back off Jen afterwards because he had end lag to the up smash. Forward smash. What a bait. He just landed down we with the nair. And any we call that the void killer, because back at Shine, he did a space nair that and then faded back and did a forward smash to him to take it out. He uses that ever since. It's such a good spacing option to throw people off. Try to go with that down tilt to set him up. Okay, Jen's getting back on the stage. It feeling, it feeling a little bit uh, defensive there with those spot dodges upon the going oh, back on the oh, stage. Oh, he was thinking deep. He oh. wanted that foot stool so bad. That would have been great. Light feels like he has just stolen any sort of momentum that Jen possibly had this set. And you see Light, he's, he's kind of bobbing his head in like confidence every time he gets a follow-up. Jen trying to go for a ledge cancel, but Light seeing through it. Oh, oh like okay, not, Light, okay, it, it's, sit it, down. It's, you're capable of making that back, but missing it, and that's going to give Jen a little bit of breathing room. Now he got he just got given a free stock. And this is something that Jen could try to carry with. He's going for these Nairs out of shields. Literally just one combo. Oh, he misses the counter even though it landed? Oh, and the yeah. right call on the roll there. Gonna punish him. Jen committed. It would have been great if he got it. It would have been huge damage. It would have been led into a combo. That's why he went for it. Still having his jump. There we go! Killing him that early with an up smash, forcing the Firefox out of light. Again! Another Game 5 final stock situation. What is going on in New York City? Both of them looking just with just super confidence right now. A little bit stressed, but Light oh, getting the openings right here. The crowd getting alive, trying to hope that Chen can walk away with this victory. There, there. He wants to re-grab so badly. Tries to go for the tech read. Up air. 
Pushes him back off. Early Fox Illusion from Light to try to bait out that high recovery. Well, also, just to get out of that situation, he's starting to get mixed a lot. This is bad. By the four this is really bad. Up smash. He oh. had to go for the mangle again. Down smash. Instead of flying, Fox Illusion. He has his double jump. Go Fire Fox. Cancel. This he is the back here. Stage spike. Calls him out with the jump. Light trying to make his way back down stage. Is that it? He got it. He got it. He got it. Jen coming out with another victory. New York City charging the stage. Oh my God. They're gonna. They're gonna break that they're stage. You gotta be careful. Oh my God. Whatever. You go ham. Go it, ham. NY popping off because not only one, but two. Of NE's reps, the top 10 competitors coming out here trying to take this victory and getting shut down. Jen, what an event so far. Jen taking out lights with the final Firefox and the pop off. And not just that, too. The amount of times that light comes out here and just puts a stop to most bracket runs for anybody in NY to win their own home tournament. He has the winning record against Jen. He has the winning record against a lot of people in NY in terms of just getting W's in general. Constantly running into Sinji, Suarez, Jen, E, and, bot, and, bot, bot. and this time, not gonna happen. No, get the, Jen's get the gonna put a stop to that and we're gonna be moving into top four right around the corner, which also means